Hello everyone, G Dubs Collects is here again with another Jumbo Box Tops 2020 Series 2. This is a very, very, very fun rip. So, um, my last video was like 40 minutes long, so I'm going to try to uh, be a little bit quicker going through the common cards now that we've kind of seen what we, uh, what we have in store for us. Get this open here. I definitely didn't cut that as much as I should have. So as we know, we've got 10 packs. We've got the exclusive hobby packs. Two silver. There we are. So we'll leave those up at the top. And then we have the two chrome decades best, which we might open first as a little teaser what's in store. So yep, yeah, we'll have 10 packs, 46 cards in each, total of 460 cards, which is nice. And hopefully this will make sure that I collect all the necessary cards for Series 2. I, uh, I'm definitely a uh, completionist, if you will, for, uh, for the flagship uh, sets. So I like to collect Series 1, Series 2, and Update. And let's get ripping while I talk about this. So, um... Oh yeah, that's right, I'm gonna have to, uh... Forgot, I'm gonna have to, uh... Hide this a little bit. Although, you know what? I can kind of do it like this. And then, uh, you won't be able to really see it, so... That might be how I do it. So we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna kind of go through these a little bit quicker this time, because... As you and I both know, there's pretty much one rookie card we're looking for, and that's Luis Robert. So now that I've pretty much seen all the cards, and the nice thing is I uh, have seen the... Well, as you can hear my little baby in the background, possibly, this video might be getting interrupted. <laughs> Sometimes the uh, the nap doesn't go as well as you hope. Jose Abreu. Just going back to make sure I didn't miss anything. Chris Sale. I try to time these videos for when... Ooh, here we go. Look at this. Very nice short print. Willie Stargell. That's nice. It's no Luis Robert short print, but that is a very nice short print. Manuel Margot is our exclusive rainbow foil. Cody Bellinger, oh boy, if that was an autograph, holy moly, I was going to be excited. Um, Acuna for the All-Star, that's a very nice one. And Lindor, so that's actually a repeat. There's 20 of them. So unfortunately, that means that I'm probably not going to complete the 2030 set in this video because I got Lindor in the last pack. So all right, Piscotti leads us off. Hunter Harvey, rookie, very nice. I like that one. And uh, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, my son doesn't. Uh, as I said in the last one. For uh, Felix Hernandez, King Felix, finally in his uh, Braves uniform. That's kind of cool. Um, hopefully my son doesn't completely interrupt us. Otherwise, I'm just going to take a little pause here. And you guys will have to trust me that I didn't uh, add in any uh, <laughs> any hot packs or anything like that. All right. What do we got here? Dustin Pedroia, possibly, like I said in the last video, possibly his last Red Sox card. So we'll see about that, see what his uh, season holds. Andrew McCutcheon, not the short print. And let's see here. All right, we're getting close to the end here. Altuve, Andrews. All right, so no short print in this one. We get the tops now. And Jackie Robinson War. Ricky Henderson, and there we go, another Bo Bichette rookie 2030. Very nice, very, very nice. 
My son is very unhappy with me that is, I'm opening baseball cards without him. So. It would be really cool if some of the 2030 cards were autographed as well, but I don't believe that they are, unfortunately. Danny Mendick. Rookie. Garlic. I don't know if I got a garlic in the last one. Uh, I definitely did not get a Shogo or a Bruce Dar Gratterall. So, uh, Rick Porcello very clearly pitching at Fenway Park. Photoshopped. <laughs> um, I'm really thinking that the Red Sox are going to miss Rick Porcello this year. Well, actually, with everything going on this year. <laughs> Maybe they won't. Maybe they look like geniuses. For letting everyone go but I'm excited for 60 games I think that's gonna be great just to get some baseball uh, I really think they they missed the boat so that's interesting we're just kind of short one card basically Justin Dunn Trout player of the decade Reggie Jackson and Shohei Otani that's also another repeat so I haven't gotten any new 2030 cards yet that's a bummer that's a big bummer because I am hopefully going to complete that set I think that's a great great set whether or not they even uh, attempt to make the cards look like that in 2030 which <laughs> I think they should I think that would be really funny if they uh, card a kaboom future stars Griffin Canning <laughs> Uh, I think it would be a great idea for them to to try to uh, create that as, in 2030. Um, I think it's a cool idea, and uh, I think it would just be kind of fun to have them side by side comparison. It would be very cool. Duggar rookie. Yeah, it's very tough to tell who the um, the next you know two through five rookies are. Freddie Freeman. Home Run Challenge, very nice. Clayton Kershaw. Walker Bueller Gold, very nice. Ooh. Another card behind that. Is this the autograph? Nope, just a rainbow foil. Good. Gold card. Uh, 220. 2020, rather. Cattell Marte. And Pete Alonso. I don't know if... I, no, I did have Pete Alonso, so that's really upsetting, I think. I think I'm going to get 10 of the exact same. So that's frustrating. I wonder if there's some sort of a uh, rarity to them. That would be interesting if there is. If there's a tiered one, because, I mean, you would think the Beau Bichette would be one of them. I would really love the Luis Robert 2030 card. That's definitely one that I uh, didn't get in the last uh, pack. Yamaguchi, I'll put that off to the side just because I think he might be... Good. Martin Perez in his Red Sox uniform. I think I already had that one. Zimmerman, DJ Stewart. The legendary Cape Cod Baseball League DJ Stewart. Xander. Blue Jays. Karen, Karen Chuck. Karen Chuck. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but... Uh, get that to focus. I think Mookie's taking, taking some focus out of the, the background here. I'm going to try to tilt this down just a little bit. Sorry for the change up. There we go. That's better. Jake is very, very unhappy. My son in the background. As you could tell, maybe I'll have to put some Gary Sanchez relic. Look at that. Always nice to get a little pinstripe. So as far as relics go, that's nice. I'll take that. Ronnie Rodriguez, gold, rainbow foil, Buster Posey, and Fernando Tatis Jr., also another repeat. Not, not a new one. That's unfortunate. So each, each box must have maybe the same, same set in them, and you just have to get lucky with which box you get. We'll see. We will see.
but hopefully that means I get a Luis Robert in here because I did get a Luis Robert base card in the last jumbo box. I believe both boxes came from the same case. Got it from my local card shop um, for a great price. He is really, really good. So if you're in the, the Greenland, New Hampshire area, make sure you check out Diamond King Sports Cards. And you can follow them on Instagram as well. Luis Thorpe is the autograph with a terrible, terrible scuff mark up there. So that stinks. But hopefully Luis Thorpe turns out to be a great uh, Hall of Famer. And uh, that'll be a nice rookie autograph. Luke Weaver. Black. Very nice. Daniel Norris. Tanaka, very unfortunate what happened to Tanaka the other day. Hopefully he is okay. Mike Trout, 2030. Um, hopefully he's okay, and hopefully Giancarlo Stanton, who was the one who hit him, is going to be okay too, because you, you always worry about the, the batter in that situation too, that uh, he'll possibly, you know, start struggling because that'll stay in his mind for a while. Yu Chang rookie, very nice. Uh, let's see. All right, we got this is the fourth pack. This looks like it's going to be our relic pack. Uh, Keston here, a gold cup. So I'm hope hopefully going to see a Luis Robert rookie card in one of these final four packs. Otherwise, that's that's a tremendous bummer, and I have seen that in quite a few breaks where people... Ooh, that's cool. I like that. See, as far as relics go, I will take this over the draft day. I don't like the draft day one at all, but if it's going to be a manufactured relic, that's cool. So, very cool. And this one is not one of the numbered ones. I've seen, I've seen them be numbered as well, but it's not numbered. Joe Jimenez, Dexter Fowler Rambo, Lorenzo Kane, and a Bryce Harper. So far, all of the 2030 have been a repeat. That is very disappointing. I wonder if they're by case, maybe. That could also be. That would be kind of strange, but if every case had the same 2030 cards in them. That'd be very, very interesting. Jake would not like that. <laughs> Here we go. Luis Robert rookie card. That's great. Very, very nice. That's... Unfortunately, that so far has been our biggest card. Because the relic and the autograph aren't the best. But we'll see. Hey, I mean, also, Luis Thorpe could turn out to be great, and uh, Mookie Betts and his Dodgers is why I was pausing on that. Um, Luis Thorpe could turn out to be excellent, and um, then I have his rookie autograph, so that's nice. But uh, I got Kyle Tucker in the last box, and I would say that that's a lot better of a card. Although I'm not super high on... Luis Robert, Tops Now insert. That's not bad. Wade Miley Gold, Ricky Henderson, Christian Yelich, and Chris Bryant. Another repeat. Uh, I'm not high on Kyle Tucker. I know a lot of people are, um, especially with the whole cheating scandal. We have no way of knowing whether or not he was involved in that in any way, shape, or form. So you got to wonder what, uh, what stats are pumped up. Uh, but I just, um, oh, 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 yes, bonus Luis Robert, back-to-back -back packs, very, very nice, that is excellent, so there we go, I was saying earlier that uh, I have seen some packs, ooh, Yu Chang, what a great, what a great pack, um, Mookie Betts, Brandon Workman, uh, I have seen some boxes that have jumbo boxes that have zero Luis Robert, and that is very, very unfortunate. Because if you buy 460 cards, you would hope that you would get the best uh, rookie card, or at least almost one of every card. There's only, you know, what? Um, I think there's 
Series 2, isn't it? From 350 and up. So 350 to 700. Garrett Cole and his Yankees Uni. I didn't actually pay attention to any of the cards that I just... <laughs> <laughs> while I was trying to do some math in my head. Here we go, Shogo. There we go. What a great pack. Shogo, Yu Chang, and Luis Robert all in the same pack. Very, very nice. Howie Kendrick. Johnny Bench. Ooh, look at that. A little Will Clark. And Vlad Guerrero Jr. is the last one. So I wish I could remember the 10 that I got and I could predict who was going to be in this one actually you know what so I'm thinking about all of the let's see we got Alonzo we got Vlad uh, I can't remember who the 10th one was that I got out of the last one but it would be fun to predict it because I feel like it's going to come true so it looks like they at the very least they um, group them in two sets you know 10 in each case but unfortunately we got the same case so that is less than ideal all right kk as they're calling him didn't get that card either so that's a new one so i still haven't gotten the brew star gratterall uh Ooh, Ken Griffey Gold. Look at that. That's beautiful. Numbered out of 50. 14 out of 50. Very nice. And perfect condition. That is nice. I'm putting that off to the side. Kyle Tucker Gold. Very nice. Whitey Ford. Trevor Story. And Javi Baez. That's who it was. Yep, there we go. So I got identical 2030 cards. Uh, that I did last time. So, um, so a quick little recap. We get the Griffey Gold. We get not one, but two Luis Robert rookie cards. Very nice. And I should have checked just to make sure that one of them wasn't the no name plate because that's a great one to get. Luis Thorpe and Gary Sanchez. And also, I just noticed that Luis Thorpe is not an on card autograph. So that's disappointing. And it's got the scuff up here. And the scuff over there, so that's upsetting, but still very nice. And then, of course, the manufactured patches, so not too shabby. Let's get to the silver packs here and see if we can get strike some gold in here. Looks like we'll get Whitey Ford in the back, good old Whitey, and Frank Robinson. Very nice. I like it a lot better when I get players as opposed to the teams, unless I get the Red Sox. I would appreciate the Red Sox. And I love, I said this in the last video, I love that they actually put the inserts in the back here because then it saves you as you're opening it from revealing. So it's very nice. Hunter Harvey, very nice. I'll take that one. Brandon Lau, uh, Roberto Clemente, and Tanaka. That's very nice. And let's see. I would love a bonus autograph. I would love a bonus autograph of Luis Robert if that was a thing. I don't actually know if it's Dubon, Sheldon Noyce, Noah Syndergaard, and Eloy Jimenez. Very nice. So not the, not the best uh, silver packs, but not the worst either. So Hunter Harvey was pretty nice. So it's always good to get a top rookie there. So, all right, coming in at, at just under 20 minutes, much better than my 40 minute video. So <laughs> uh, take care, everyone. I'm going to go rock my kid to sleep. And um, remember, keep on collecting.